Hey what's up guys, in this video we're going to look at how to play the Stonewall Dutch as black, but before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. So the Stonewall Dutch is going to be against d4, so you're going to start e6, remember if e4, we go d5 and we play a French, so you know what to do there. Um, so now generally you're going to see c4 come next, also knight f3 is possible. So here we're going to go f5, and now if knight c3, it's going to be very similar to a Nimzo, where we go bishop b4, and we fight for this e4 square. So some possible variations are like knight f3, knight f6, e3, b6, if you shadow this bishop like this, bishop d3, here, remember whenever he castles, um, that's when we take on c3. Um, so take here, on takes, now we go knight e4. And um, these positions are really nice to play. Basically our plan is to castle, and then get some attack with rook f6, rook g6, try to get your queen over to h4 at some point, and remember, don't forget these two pieces over here. You have to, at some point, bring them in. Um, but using this long diagonal, you're going to see a lot of tactics on this g2 and g file. So that's what we're going to do when we see knight c3, um, basically letting us pin their knight. So now if they don't do that, if they go knight f3, we're going to continue knight f6, uh, assuming they don't go knight c3, because if they go knight c3, we just transpose the bishop b4. Let's say g3, now we go c6. Move order is not too important here, bishop g2, d5. Basically, we're trying to get this set up. Now it's going to castle. Now we go bishop d6. And now if they go b3, um, we want basically white wants to trade this dark square bishop for our dark square bishop, our better piece. Remember, our bishop on c8 It's kind of the problem. Bishop doesn't have much to do. So here he's trying to go bishop a3. So we go queen e7, not letting him trade. Um, and then plan is very simple, castle, and you're going to see a5, b6, uh, moving these pawns like this, you're going to get this bishop out, develop your piece, and then at some point you might push f4 and start a kingside attack, um, or try to push e5. But here you're going to see black has really no issues, no no weaknesses, um, and it's very comfortable to play, which is a lot more important um, than anything else. Now here, bishop d6, if they go bishop f4 like this, we're just going to chop away, just take this bishop. Because um, basically white wants to trade the, these two bishops. I mean, he's trying to go avoid going bishop f4. That's why they go b3, bishop a3. So here, if they go bishop f4, we punish him by giving them these double pawns. We're going to castle, and you're going to see at some point rook f6, um, and then rook g6, hitting this king side. Um, so that's what we're going to do there. Um, now, lastly, if you see like e3, we're going to do the same thing. c6, sorry, c6. Uh, probably bishop d3. Remember, if they ever go knight c3, we're going to transpose into a nimzo kind of position with uh, bishop b4. Um, but let's say they don't do that. They go castle. We go bishop d3, bishop d6, sorry, here, castle. Um, and even though we got a little bit tricked here, this bishop is still fine over here, where this bishop is bad. So at some point, we're going to go knight e4 push b6, go a5, get this bishop over here, um, and it's going to be a very comfortable position. You're going to see you have no kind of space to disadvantage. Um, vision is very solid. If they take here, generally we're going to take this way to get this bishop a little bit more life. So um, that also depends on where you put this bishop. If you've already put on a6, then you probably would take something like this. Um, but that's something you can keep in mind for the middle game. Really just try to remember the structure, getting a bishop to d6, building this wall, castling and developing all your pieces. Um, know the big points, like this is your good bishop, this is your bad bishop, um, and this e4 square is a very good outpost. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and hope you guys were entertained.